take a deep breath and relax. Or not. Because it would be very stressful if you had to relax. So whatever is here, is here. Simply relax your definition about how you feel. About what you think. About what this day may bring for you. And instead of building more expectations of yourself, of me, for this day together. Let go of expectations of yourself of me and of this day together. And continue to enjoy the experience of being here. Because once you take the edge off of your experience, once you take the expectations away, you can always find enjoyment. You can always find peace. You can always find satisfaction in the now. Satisfaction is what you are made of. It is your nature. It is your effortless state. It is your addition-free condition. Don't add anything that you do not wish to add to the beauty that's already here. Instead, just open your eyes. Open your consciousness. And you will find that all the core qualities that you seek are available in the opening up of your consciousness. They don't have to be found. They don't have to be created. They're already innate. So relax. Open your heart. Open your consciousness. And allow this clarity to see for you. Allow this awareness to see through you. Allow this presence to breathe through you. Allow your heart to beat for you. Allow your blood to flow for you. And allow your creation to unfold effortlessly for your highest sake. If you take away your expectations of outcome, of any kind, not just for today, but for all of your life, you will find that trust is natural, faith is automatic. And a sense of connection to something deeper, something sacred, something all-encompassing, something extremely intelligent and loving, starts to form and develop and strengthen and become more tangible.
and the more that connection is allowed to be here, the more you relax, the more that bandwidth increases, the bandwidth between your personally asserted vibrational being and your true non-physical vibrational being. And as that bandwidth of trust and faith and relaxation and no expectations increases, widens, as that river widens, you will be able to experience more of that flow, more of that water streaming through, more of that intelligence, more of that higher consciousness. You're not pinching yourself off from your source. You are allowing it to flow. You are allowing your higher consciousness to actually become more and more your consciousness. It is true trust and relaxation that you will find all the qualities you seek naturally present already. The more you relax, the more you trust, the more you let go of expectation, the more this bandwidth widens, increases. The more usable and conscious the stream becomes, the more inseparable you feel from your higher consciousness. another deep breath and relax even more tension relax even more of your ideas see that ideas are just ideas and they're all trying to keep you safe keep you from being harmed keep you from experiencing lack But as you relax your ideas, you can see something much greater, something endlessly abundant is already in support of you. You are already held in the safety you seek. You are already given the support that you need. You are already connected to the abundance that you desire. It's already the case. It's already here. The more you relax, the more your eyes open, the more you will see. And the more you will see here and now, the more satisfaction will be felt. Because now your perspective is aligning itself and aligning itself and aligning itself with those greater, deeper, more existential qualities of the Creator and its creation itself. So consider this a reset button at the start of this day. What are you resetting? All your expectations. So that you may start to flow naturally and intuitively and in resonance.
rather than mind-based, condition-based, idea-based. Let your heart speak today. Let your consciousness speak through you today. Let your resonance move you about these grounds. Let your resonance move you across your inner universe. The wider you open your consciousness, the wider you open your eyes, which you can only do if you relax your insistence, if you relax your insistence, and your expectations. But when you open your eyes more and more widely, your heart opens more and more widely. And you will find an unspeakable quality of love for yourself, for everything that you are, encompassing everything that you've done in this life. And you will never be able to find this quality outside of this relaxation. It will never be given to you by somebody else. Not really. People may remind you, they may reflect to you that you are loved, but you will never accept these gifts if you do not already accept it and see it within. So I hate to break it to you, but the only way to experience this profound sense of divine self-love is to choose to open up to that right here, right now, and forgive yourself for being human, forgive yourself for everything that you've done, everything that you've misunderstood everything that you've assumed, for how hard you've tried. And see that there's great beauty, great love, and great perfection in the mess of a single human life. You never came here to do it perfectly. You never came here to know what you are ought to do. You came here to not know. You came here for the mess and to find love and to give love regardless. So you see your mission has never failed as long as you are able to regardless of what has occurred regardless what's going on in your life as we speak. As long as you have your eyes on love, forgiveness, you are on track. You are perfecting your imperfections. are forgiving the mess. An equality of clarity will shine through the not knowing of the human mind. And forgiveness feels so good. Forgiveness of self. And with that will naturally come forgiveness of others. Love the mess that you are. The 
even love your inability to love yourself. Because it may take some training for some of you. Love your frustration. Love your stubbornness. Love your character. Love how annoying you are to other people. Or to yourself. When you try not to be annoying to anyone else. Which is very annoying to you. I chose the other option. I'd rather be annoying to others. And not to myself. But either way, either way, love how annoying you are to someone. You can never get it right. No one's ever gotten it right. that's okay and we're all here together and there's great love here for us all there's endless forgiveness here for us all there are no exceptions God's love if you will is unconditional it really is I have found the greatest love opening experiences in my messiest moments when I felt there was nothing I could do to correct a situation. Do the same. Let bygones be bygones. forgive your imperfections and you will find great love and you will find great success in your story you will find great success in this life because success is measured only by the amount of love and joy you can let through regardless of circumstance regardless of character flaws regardless of what has happened, happens or will happen. So again, take a deep breath. Relax and hit that reset button inside of your heart. Now allow your heart to continue to beat. But simply reset all thoughts that you have, all judgment that you have of yourself. There's no reason to hold on to any judgment that you have of self. There's no reason. There's no reason you should hold on to judging yourself. It does not serve a single thing. It doesn't make you a better person. It doesn't make you less annoying. It doesn't make you any more perfect. It doesn't make you more lovable, and it doesn't make you more loving, for sure. So if we can all forgive ourselves right here, right now, and get that over with, and from that space of self-love, 
from that space of peace, from that space of forgiveness of self and other self. We can start to co-create. We can start to explore the laws of this creation. We can start to explore how life works, who we are, what our purpose is, what our theme is, and what we most desire to bring forth in this life, regardless of age, regardless of past experience, regardless of the mess already created and left behind. So start fresh. Start fresh today, together, and for yourself. Allow your body to smile again, to feel like it's on the receiving end of your love. Love your body. Relax your body. Love your body. And love your mind so much that it has no option but to become subservient, quiet obedient. Give it so much love that it naturally quiets down. Don't control your thinking. Simply love it to death. Because when you give your mind what it seeks on your behalf, which is love and safety, forgiveness, perfection, it's trying to take care of you when you give those qualities in abundance, in overwhelming abundance vibrationally using imagination using your ability to activate your feeling states to open up that consciousness flow if you send so much overwhelming love and joy and forgiveness to your mind and safety It will start to become transparent. It will start to disappear. It will stop working on your behalf. It will start working naturally for you when you need it. Because now you have found what you've created it to do for you when you were a child. The substitute servant that some call the ego is nothing but a substitute servant attempting to the best of its ability to find you and ensure you of love, safety, protection, finances, the ability to do what you need to do when you need to do it. When you give all that quality of safety and love to it, it will start to quiet down because its mission is fulfilled. It's not working against you, it's working for you. Let it know that you have found what you have set it up to seek for you. And now you're no longer two. Now you're one. And this will greatly enhance your capacity and ability to simply activate whatever state of consciousness you desire to experience at any given moment. You see, love is not a quality you will find anywhere but inside your own choice to activate it within your consciousness right now. Any realization that you seek, any realization of self, other self, empowerment, actualization, it all depends on you making the choice to activate that vibration within your consciousness. And then as you start exuding the frequency of your chosen desired state, you will start to receive all the confirmations, all the insights, all the clarity, all the proof, all the evidence, all the reflections of those qualities. It is by that law of attraction that you will then confirm to yourself what you have already activated within your field, within your presence, within your consciousness. You cannot activate a lack of love and try to find it somewhere. You have to activate an abundance of love and find it in that activation. And when you do, 
all the inner segregation, all the inner separation disappears. You become a unified consciousness. No longer compartmentalized.